we gotta act like we love each other too. <laughs> I know. Because that's Perfect. like every family channel. There's Curdy. Hi, I'm Joe. And I'm Shannon. And this is Alana's Palace. I said that's so cringy. <laughs> what are we doing today? Going to Bins. Yeah, we're going to Goodwill Bins today. And this is probably gonna be like a family channel. We do a little bit of hustling on the side and we, and we go to Goodwill Bins and you know try to resell the stuff online. So that's kind of the plan today. <laughs> we're gonna be bringing this little devil along. <laughs> this is Alana. Is it our daughter? <laughs> no, she, <laughs> just a random kid that we kidnapped and she's eating tape. <laughs> so because we're bringing her along, I'm probably gonna be the only one that really gets to look. <clears throat> and unless she falls asleep in the car, then we might get lucky and Shannon can look for a little bit. We're gonna go hustling. We'll see you soon. See you soon. Out. This is every single time I go to take the dog out. <laughs> so cute. This little pest watches us out the door. She's eating a cracker. How's your cracker? Is it good? Cool, good talking to you, bro. Crouton, you ready to go on a walk? I don't even hold his leash when I walk him because he's such a good dog. Get Bubba. That pizza? Ready, bud? There you go. Keep going on a walkie, come on. I turned on the camera too late, but when he poops, he gets in like squatty mood for like an hour and a half. I swear, takes some mean shits. Let's go, good boy. As I walk the dog here, and you know, before we get ready to head off to Goodwill Bins, thought I'd just talk a little bit about reselling. And you know, this isn't really gonna be like uh, a class for resellers channel. This is, you know, gonna be more of a, a family channel and entertaining. Um, but I just wanted to say for like people that are starting out, cause you know, I've probably been doing this for, I don't know, maybe like seven or eight months now. Um, but I know when I first started, I was very skeptical and I was like, you, you know, there's no way you can buy shit from stores and post it online and, and make money. That being said, it's kind of legit. It definitely takes a while to build your accounts up, to like build your eBay up, to build your Mercari. Um, those are kind of the two platforms I sell on, Crouton's Chasing the Squirrel. So it does take a little bit to kind of get started. You need to get some feedback. You need to kind of learn the platforms. Uh, without any feedback, you know, if you see someone with a 0% rating on eBay, you're typically not gonna buy from them. But other than that, once you do get some feedback, you know, you're identified as a fast shipper and all those all those good things, it does, you know, it's, it's, it's good. I would say it's kind of tough to go full-time with it. It's, it's not really like a scalable business. It is, but you gotta be hitting bins three times a day. You know, every time they put new stock out, you gotta go. You gotta hit garage sales and estate sales every week weekend but yeah that's all i got and we're about to head out the bins and you'll see what we come up with, with for the day see these mofos in the line here we are baby goodwill bins about to make a killing shannon how you feeling good vibes good vibes great vibes great vibes every time we come to bins we're always late i don't know if it's because we're parents or what it is but damn that kid with the ponytail is always here guarantee he's already in there going crazy Absolute mayhem. Look at all the clothes, baby. Yeah, probably going back. Now we're about to go through all this crap and put back what probably won't sell, which is probably like 98% of it. Ooh. Look at that big smile. <laughs> Come here, little girl. You wanna go get some pizza? Yeah, you wanna go get some pizza? I know Shani wants some pizza. Oh, you hungry, at Yana? Aww. Thank you, little girl. Oh, I love you. <gasps> <laughs> you see smile. every tooth in her mouth. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Gotta film that. 35 bucks. 35 bucks, Shan. $35. <laughs> Every time we're done picking and we're at the Goodwill bins, gotta stop and get an incredible Little Caesar $6 pizzas. Cause I eat like a homeless person, baby. Shannon kind of eats like a homeless person and too. Money. But she's still skinny. And she, had a baby. and she had a baby. Surprisingly, the only thing that's messed up is her. <laughs> You like your pizza, Yana? <laughs> yeah. Oink, oink. 
Nom 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 nom. Felici also. <laughs> Shannon eats like a two-year-old. She doesn't want the crust. Take that. And she's slamming it. Give me your footsies. <laughs> you don't want to fight me. I'm telling you, you don't want the smoke, baby. I will mess you up. I will take this hand and shove it up your butthole. <laughs> Ready to see your doggy? I just heard the pizza fall off the car. Who is that? Is that Creedy? Is that Creedy? There he is. Hey, Baba. Where's your good boy? Where's your good boy? Good boy. Boy. Who is this? Good boy. Oh, my love you. I miss you so much. Mm -hmm. Gratan, you're not the star of the show here. Hi, Jan. What's up, guys? It's the next day. I was going to say the second day. It's, it's the, next the next day. day. Which is why she's in different clothes. Yes, and my hair is down. I washed it. And um, we're going to show you the good stuff that we found. All right, so the first thing we picked up here is a vintage Hawaii t-shirt. It's actually dated 1993. I don't know if you can get that. So this is a really good find. And we'll, we'll... <laughs> Alana, come here. You want daddy to hold you? All right, so this is a good find too. So this is a vintage Nike. It's a white tag with the orange swoosh. Um, I think these things go for like 30 to 40 bucks or something like that, but um, we'll link the sales Stupid. from right here. All right, so I found this like little sweater dress. It's a vintage Hanes Her Way. It literally says made in the USA on the tag. And wow. And I didn't even know that they made sweater dresses like back in the day, I guess, because yeah, they're very in sick. right now. Yeah, so I would love this one. The color's a little bit bright for me, but it's going to be like really cute for whoever does buy it. Something I wouldn't I think this either, is dated. But... I think this is dated 2000. Yeah, it says it on the tag. Looney Tunes women hooded sweatshirt with Tweety Bird on the front. And I just got my well, nails I'll flip filled, it around. So. I think it says uh, 2000 on it. Yeah, right there. So this one probably won't sell for much, but it was kind of a cool find at Vins because it's like a very popular brand. It's cropped hoodie. It's like a quarter zip from Topshop. Wow. And it's just, I feel like it's like a good find. Like Oof. again, it won't sell Great for find. more than like 15, but what do we pay for it? Like a dollar? Just about. Yeah. So this one is the brand Rainforest. It's a men's coat. And I was looking at it the other day and I couldn't figure out which side was the right side. But I looked these up and these literally sell for like 60 to $70. Did you crawl in your own toy? You're a big girl now. You don't play in that toy no more. <laughs> no, you can play in anything. But look, both of your little feeties are in the one side. Silly. Say go. Go. The neck is a bit chewed up. I think that might actually be the style of it. I'm just like an Alaska crew neck. I've actually never seen this tag before. It's Galt Sand, made in the USA. Um, I don't know, but it is dated. Um, it's dated, but you can hardly see it. I think it says either 99 or 97. These ones, I haven't had too much luck with like a vintage Russell, but I see like a ton of people post it and find it and sell it. You know, if it's a Russell made in the USA tag, you probably still will get like 10, 15 bucks for it. It just might take a little bit to sell it. She's stuck. You want some help, baby girl? She's stuck. She's stuck, but she'll crawl right back in. Yeah. You know? Then I love this t-shirt. Um, it's got a little grease stain on it. Pretty dope. United we stand in tribute to the victims of 9-11. Rest in peace. Um, dated 2001. Does have a pretty cool tag on it too. Unite Windjammer, made in the USA. Oh, this one Shannon hated on me for. Cause it's ugly. She said, Ew, put that shit back. We're not getting that. And I said, you know what? It does look a little weird. I said, I just have a weird feeling that this one's probably worth some money. And sure enough. All right, so this is probably one of the best finds of the day. It's a vintage Eddie Bauer coat. This is actually made in the USA. I saw sales comps on this um, for like smaller vintage Eddie Bauer jackets going like 50, 60. Paint. Oh, she got paint over the blanket. Groot, do you have something to say? 
Do you have blue on your teeth? This one's literally so cool and that. I like want to keep it. But this is a champion. It's not vintage, but it's a champion crew neck sweatshirt. I have no idea why someone would like literally ever throw this away. <laughs> yeah, why would you do that? There's literally Especially nothing wrong like, with it. Yeah, like Goodwill too. Like yeah. I would maybe take it to a consignment shop where you get part of um, like their profits or whatever. Yeah. Even the back is sick. And like Joe said earlier, it definitely gives off an off-white. Yeah, it looks like off-white off -white. for sure. I guarantee we could get like 70 for this. And that'd be yeah, good. maybe. So yeah. really good. It's great fun. Good job, babe. We have to act like we love each other on here because <laughs> <laughs> people <not. laughs> people want to see couples in love. And we also got this sweet hat. <laughs> so this one uh, needs a little bit of work. It's got a little stain. Um, but who's the master of getting stains out? You are. This guy. Um, it also needs a hoodie string, but who's the master of putting hoodie strings in? I did it last time. Yeah, but I normally do it. All right, whatever. And this this honestly looks like some Stephen Barry bullshit, like 2010. Like, it doesn't look vintage. But got to check your tags out, guys. Got to look at the tags um, for vintage stuff. She's stuck Everything again. all right, hon? <laughs> Daddy's trying to film, all right? This one also needs some work, too. And it's, you know, they say, like, everything before 2000 is vintage. And this is... 2003 new life. <laughs> um, Signing off. Kiss. Wait, wait, wait. Oh, I One love more. you. And also, if you want to buy, I'm going to take this stupid hat off. If you want to buy anything that you see that we show or post, just shoot us a message on Instagram. Give me your damn money. <laughs> just kidding. Come here, honey. She yeah. liked that one. She kept grabbing it. <laughs> Looks like a smock. <laughs> she looks so cute. You go on to painting with a twist <laughs> with your hair. boo. All right, this is Alana's Palace signing off. We'll see you Whoa. in our next video. Be sure to like and subscribe if you like this content, and we will definitely have some more because we love what we do. Mm -hmm. <laughs>